In this video, I'm going to look at the Shade Light Light Editor. You can turn on the Light Editor simply by clicking on the light bulb icon here in the Shade Light menu. We can see that the Shade Light Light Editor menu is very similar to the Material Editor in SketchUp. Placing a light in Shade Light is very easy. It's very similar to placing a component in SketchUp. So at the moment, I have point light selected, and we can see that we have some different light options here. Now placing these lights differ slightly depending on the type of light, but we cover these in the later light videos. So I'm just going to choose point light at the moment. We can set the properties of the light we're about to place. So we can see the default value of intensity here is 125 candela. This is roughly the same brightness as a 100 watt tungsten light bulb. As a reference, one candela is about the brightness of one candle. We then have the option to change the colour of the light we're about to place. We can either use the RGB option, or we can use the HSB, the hue, saturation and brightness. So I'm just going to choose a slightly yellow light here, just to give a this light to my room. We can now see that the light icon here has actually given us the colour, so we can see the preview of the colour of the light we're going to see. So I'm simply going to place a light now. So I zoom in on here, and it's just going to snap to the end point of that line there, and it's going to place this light on the end of the line. OK, so we can see now that that has placed the light on the end of that geometry there. This has placed a, light, a shade light light component into our scene. This particular one shows that we have a point light. The yellow circles mean that uh, the center of the light is right in the middle here, and the circle means that it's a point light, as it's showing light in all directions. If we want to place another light exactly the same as this, I can leave that one selected. And if I go over to my other light fitting here, I can simply select the same geometry on there and place another light by clicking. So we can see this has placed another light exactly the same value. We can leave the Shade Light Light Editor open while we're continuing to work in SketchUp. So if I select some more geometry here, this turns off our Shade Light Light Editor. But to make this active again, we can simply click on the light icon there, and we can then carry on and we can go and place another light. And because we had no lights selected, it's just gone back to the default values, and I can just place a light to whatever value I require.